Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story. This is going to be a really um, pretty pretty progressive episode. I mean, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. And uh, the theme of today's episode is working around the house. Um, that's supposed to be another pun. I'm sure I, I ruined it. But see, the joke is, is that I'm doing work around the house. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's... It's bad, and also I butchered it. It's fine. Uh, you don't come here to be entertained. I don't know why you come here, but, you know, it's fine. Um, so the first thing I wanted to get done in this session was I wanted to start working on the greenhouse. And this is going to be kind of like a shock, like almost like whiplash, because I've been sort of talking about doing the, the greenhouse for a long time and not really doing anything about it, not really working on it at all, ever. Uh, and I, not to spoil anything, but I basically finish it in this episode. So that was kind of a big deal. I mean, having all of the shingles um, fired was kind of a big step. And I mean, yeah, I, I you know, if I'm going to build something, I want it to be nice. And given something shingles is definitely a big, big part of that. So um, I have mixed feelings about how I'm working on it right now. And uh, spoiler, I run out of shingles. So I guess I'm going to be firing shingles until the end of time. Uh, you know, that it, it is what it is. But like, okay, so let's let's talk for a moment about how the greenhouse works. So you're supposed to make 50% of the roof glass this was uh, you know you'll see throughout this episode this there's a lot of trial and error on my part here figuring out how to make the greenhouse officially a greenhouse make it recognized by the game as being a, a greenhouse and i mean you know uh history dictates that i'm not very good at this because you know i still don't officially have a cellar so never mind but um, so 50% of the roof needs to be made of glass. You can't build a greenhouse underground, which makes sense, but you also can't have any blocks between the roof and the sky, even if it's n not on the glass part, like meaning if it's on the, you know, full block non-glass parts. It doesn't matter. It, you just can't do it. Game doesn't like it. Okay, fine. Um, so then, well, so what is a greenhouse? It, I mean, functionally, what is it? Uh, aesthetically, what is it? Um, it's just a room that gets sunlight and hopefully stays warm during the, the cold seasons that you can grow crops in. So, but, you know, when you picture a greenhouse, I'm sure, like me, you might picture a uh, house made out of glass. Like, the whole thing is made out of glass. That's really expensive, and we don't actually have to do that in order for the game to recognize the greenhouse. Um, but, you know, do, do I do that still? I mean, you know, is that f functionally I want to make something that feel looks and feels like a greenhouse? By the way, everything you're seeing here is stuff I have to redo about three or four times. So get ready for that. I try to make the roof with only nine pieces of glass in order to um, save a bit of materials for the next part. Um, I'm basically building the greenhouse modularly, if that's a word. Uh, I think you understand what I mean by that. It's going to be basically two by three r buildings exactly like this. Uh, seven by seven interior rooms uh, that are sharing walls and have uh, you know enough glass and a ceiling or a roof to be considered a greenhouse. Uh, and in this way I can build them with modul modularity in mind, <laughs> meaning, um, you know, certain parts of the roof don't need to have shingles uh, because they're actually going to be other separate rooms. I only get the one room finished, but, you know, that's enough to get some uh, some plants planted. But to, to be honest, I'm not sure if I completely succeed uh, more on that later, but Nonetheless, finishing the room, uh, finishing you know the, the beginnings of a greenhouse felt pretty good, and I do succeed in making this room a, officially a greenhouse. But you can see all, a lot of the mistakes I, I make uh, along the way. But you know, what, whatever. So <laughs> greenhouses are a pain in the butt. In fact, I would go uh, 
I, I would go farther and say that rooms in vintage story are kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I think one of the reasons my cellar is not considered a cellar is because there's a, a te technically a chiseled block that I may have accidentally hit with the chisel and they, the rooms do not like chiseled blocks at all. And I understand that this is all very uh, difficult to program and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna whine about it necessarily but um, if there's even one chiseled block that's part of the walls then the room doesn't count and that's probably why I don't have a cellar. Um, do I want to break every single block looking for the one chiseled block that is basically invisible? No. So I guess I'm content with mediocre-ish, uh, you know, um, preservation s s ratings. So anyway, um, we're we're also going to be preserving some leather. Not not really a lot to s talk about there. Um, now that I have um, borax, I, I've been getting a little bit more aggressive about uh, you know processing leather into actual scraps or you know something we can make uh, which is really funny honestly because uh, I'm, I'm just about at the stage of winter I mean like we're we're at this stage we're in like mid February so by the time I have enough leather to make anything you know, armor or something warm uh, winter will basically be over but it's not over yet and you'll see here this is my second last pie that I, I just ate. I'm running out of food. I've been running out of food for, you know, the last few months and not really resupplying it with anything. When I went, uh, when I was going on kind of excursions, I found a lot of crops and I definitely uh, grabbed them for the sake of, you know, the seeds planting, uh, for, you know, our farm. But I haven't really been finding any of that lately. And uh, so I am, I am slowly running out of food. The best uh, I can really hope for, at, you know, at a certain point, is to start hunting, and uh, you know, I'm not super excited about that. And I still don't have my bow. I need some resin to, to do that. I should have made a note about that. Um, also, you know, something uh, I, I bet you didn't expect to see was the open, sort of the outdoor smithy area. I've been talking about starting where I am going to be putting my bloomeries. It just really didn't fit, you know, it didn't sit well with me having them indoors. It just doesn't feel right. Um, so I decided to put down uh, a bit of a foundation. And really my plan was to just leave it at that. It's like, okay, they're outdoors and there's something that is, you know, uh, resembling of an outdoor kind of workshop area. Um, good enough, right? I'll leave it at that. Except it was snowing and then my granite floor uh, was basically buried in snow. I'm like, okay, well, fine. I guess I'll have to give it a roof and that means I'm officially working on this now and, and have to finish it basically because I don't want to have to search for my granite floor and if I'm going to have the granite floor, I want to at least see it, right? This is the thought process that goes through my head whenever I'm working on stuff. Here uh, I decided to make use of the saltpeter and um, the the bone meal that I've been saving over the course of many months and uh, make that greenhouse really, really shine. Uh, I don't have a lot of high fertility soil, but that's okay. The high fertility soil is actually not, um, it's not necessarily a massive game changer. Apparently it's only like 65% fertile compared to, I think, 50% uh, fertile uh, on the medium soil. Not saying that's not a big difference, but I am saying it's a lot of work for that 15%. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm content just like using some of our uh, fertilizer to make the, the medium fertile, fertile uh, uh, ground, I don't know, sorry. Um, you know, good enough. I, I think that should be fine. And, you know, the crops are gonna be growing way quicker than they ever were in my like crappy outdoor farm that should be pretty good um needed more tools this was actually um a really good idea i made two pickaxes and i really like i i don't know like what what possessed me other than kind of laziness because if you're going to smith if you're gonna do any smithing you basically should make two tools because otherwise you're wasting uh, you know, a, a fuel source, you're kind of wasting that extra fuel source. You could, I'm sure you could math out how much fuel you need to exactly uh, heat up one bar, but I think it's just easier to heat up two bars. 
So I did, so therefore, two pickaxes. And then I also did a shovel and an axe, a normal axe for cutting wood. Because, you know, I do a lot of that and I'm going to need a lot more. Um, I come to one of my digging spots. Apparently I'd been here before. I don't remember it, but there's a lot of those now. Um, kind of peppered around the map. And I wasn't sure what I was looking for here. Honestly, I wanted copper. I do find copper, although I couldn't really find the when, but I know I got some. But also, this apparently was a spot I had abandoned because, oh, there's black coal here and I can't uh, mine black coal yet. But now we can because we have bronze tools. So I decided to basically, you know, dig up all the black coal. Turns out that there is just a monumental, huge vein of black coal in this spot. So I decided to just like, you know, spend a bunch of time digging out the black hole. I figured... If, if this keeps going at this rate, then I'll basically have enough black coal that I don't need fuel source for, you know, years, in-game years. Um, so, I, you know, this was kind of a, a nice little cozy uh, respite from building and decorating and uh, planning and all that stuff. You know, it's something I'm constantly going to need and uh, we can always make use of the black coal. I'm pretty sure black coal is the best we can really hope for we can eventually turn it into coke but i'm not at that point yet and i don't really think i will be for a while the coke is i think that's when we start making steel or caring about steel um that's an entire process that i don't really even want to think about i'm not even at iron yet uh lots of stuff to do um people been leaving me very helpful comments when it comes to my uh, occasional query, um, and I really do appreciate it. Y'all are, are, are really uh, great. I think the Vintage Story community is is very kind and, and not very, uh, you know, gatekeepy, and it, it feels nice, like, like I ask a question, and it's like, yeah, I mean, that, there's, a, there's some reasonable answers here, and, and no one's very mean about it. I thought I'd accidentally made tinted glass but it turns out I, I, I broke my bloomeries very soon after they were done, so the class was still high temperature. It's little details like that that I think make vin set Vintage Story apart from other games. I know it's just, it's a really small thing, but it's it just, I don't know, it makes me feel good. Like, it's just like, that's that's clever, and it, it makes sense, and it kind of roots that in reality it makes it rooted in reality and therefore lends a bit to my immersion so i i really appreciate little details like that so um aside from getting the greenhouse done as well as my outdoor bloomery uh, i also wanted to work on the windmill and i do end up basically completing it not quite um, obviously, again, mechanically speaking, the windmill is not done, and it won't be done for a long time. I'm going to probably need to get into animal husbandry before I consider uh, finishing the mechanisms of the wind windmill. But for now, um, aesthetically speaking, structurally speaking, it is a complete building, and I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. It's been a long process. This whole thing has been a long process. But like, you know, when you actually finish something in Vintage Story, that, that feels pretty good. And, uh, you know, it, it's a, a milestone. You feel like a lot of things have kind of culminated into one big uh, thing. And I, I like how the roofs meld together. I think I did a pretty good job of that. There's a few things I'm not happy with here and there about how the windmill's actual roof looks. But I'll have to, you know, I'll tinker with it later. I do want the like actual interior of the windmill uh, to be accessible as well as like climbable. I'm thinking I'm just going to leave it as being um, like a ladder kind of thing. But that being said, there there are options. The interior of the windmill is actually quite large um, in the grand scheme of things. But you know what else is new? It seems like every time I take on a new task or like a new building is like yeah let's make it literally as ambitious as as possible and uh you know just you know not let's, let's not care at all about time or material cost or anything like that like let's just make it as big as one could you know make it um so here's me trying to puzzle out the greenhouse i don't yet have it figured out but you know if as long as i'm not 
uh, as long as I don't have the greenhouse fully completed, I thought I figured, well, I might as well plant the crops, and that way I can track them. And then also, um, I wasn't sure if maybe it didn't tell me that they weren't getting the plus five degrees Celsius bonus because it was showing I was looking at dirt and not a plant, right? Um, I know that's weird logic, but you know sometimes you have to troubleshoot by considering the most obvious uh, solutions. So. Um, you know, give everything a water. So the way that, uh, th you know, things are working out with that water source is the closest blocks are receiving a minimum 75% moisture bonus, meaning they will never drop below 75% moisture, which is good. That's nice. It means I don't have to water them if I don't want, yeah, you know, if I don't care about that extra 25% moisture. Uh, and they do grow faster if they're moist, right? Let's not read into what I'm saying right now. Um, so the the outside blocks, so like between the wall and the most inner circle, uh, they're at like 65, you know, getting to, to 50, and then the most the outer most uh, dirt blocks are at 25. So I'm you know having that little bit of um, uh, water in the center is nice. It means I don't have to water the plants. They'll never get to zero, which means they basically will never die from uh, not being watered. But if I want them to grow faster, I will still have to water them. That being said, I'll have to water them from 25% uh, or up and not from zero. So overall, it's a lot less watering, which is nice. So here is uh, basically, uh, this was really tricky, this whole situation of like building this windmill. And, uh, you know, I still I still don't really have the ability to, you know, f float around them or uh, build any kind of structure to, to, to do that. Well, not easily anyway, so I decided to make use of the ladder. The ladder that I thought was going to be permanent for the ladder, uh, for the windmill, but ended up not being permanent because I realized it was going to go through the logs, which I did plan to extend towards the windmill. Made sense to have that kind of structure that was like holding, you know, and also like attaching the build, the, the building, the, the main kind of, uh, someone said longhouse, which I think is, is fun. The, the longhouse to the windmill. Um, so that basically meant I had to move the platter again because I'd already moved it to, to be here. But this ladder has already been uh, kind of a saving grace because it's, you know, not only access to the windmill, but it's also my access to the roof, which means I don't have to do a lot of tricky climbing anymore. So that's, that's all uh, kind of saving me a lot of time. So this ladder here uh, doesn't stay there because, as you'll see in a moment, uh, I, that's punching through where the the logs, the oak logs, are going to be if I want to extend them from the the wind the, the longhouse to the windmill. I hope all of this is very interesting <laughs> for you. I know it's a it's a weird process, and I have to appreciate people who like watch this series and get a kick out of my process, and uh, you know just sort of enjoy vintage story as a concept, and as well as like as a you know they're. There's a pretty thriving community of vintage story players, which is is nice. I, I appreciate that. So, this is a. I, I guess I could officially say that the windmill at this point is done, and then I'm kind of look, focusing on like how do I want it to, um, you know, the access to for it to look, and also start to very, very early, start building the floor that's going to be uh, separate basically this this huge um i don't know cathedral as it is now into two separate rooms so i have a like an upstairs or cellar not really a cellar but i'm not sure what what i'm going to call it um and then also like my main mechanisms room um so officially this building has been a farm a warehouse a barn um it's been a how, how many different things it's gonna be a longhouse and now it's a cathedral and it's so many things um, but either way I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it's looking I think it looks nice and uh, I'm pretty happy with this so here's I'm finishing this outdoor bloomery area and just putting up those posts for the roof I didn't want to have walls I wanted it to, it to be a very open so you know it's it's not gonna be warm 
but uh, I was pretty like I, I hate putting these corners down because they always place badly. But I was pretty proud of these, uh, you know, these placements where I, I knew I had to place it at a, in a certain direction in order to get that corner placement right. So I was I was pretty uh, pretty happy with, with placing those on the first try, and then then uh, once I those are up, I can get the rest of the roof up. Um, I think this looks pretty good, especially once I unbury it from the snow. I thought it uh, ended up looking really nice. So uh, this will be my regular area for setting up bloomeries. I guess I could also make this the official area for pit kilns. Hadn't really considered that, but that makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, maybe. Uh, should I keep doing the pit kilns in the basement or should I um, use this area? For, for pit kilns makes sense because I mean that's sort of what the area is for is for uh, smelting and, and heating stuff and it has lots of air circulation but I don't know I have I have I, I don't know how I feel about that decided to take a moment um, because you know this area felt pretty bare to uh, make a make some furniture which is uh, I know it's one of those things that you know eventually this whole place is going to be filled I hope with a little decorations here and there that make it feel lived in and make it, you know, rooted in some kind of reality. So, uh, I, t I took a moment to uh, actually make some furniture, and I made I made a chair, and I thought I think I did a pretty good job on the chair. Um, I know I can add materials. I kind of addressed that comment, but um, I don't really like adding materials to, uh, you know a device or block when I'm using the chisel because it's kind of cumbersome, the UI is kind of cumbersome. So I just kind of pick a material that I like and then work with that. Uh, it does mean that my uh, furniture, my decorations are going to be kind of stark, but I'm hoping uh, they'll complement each other enough that it won't matter too much. Also, it's just like, you know, it's a lot of time and effort to make a thing. And I think that, the, you know, you can make it look nice without necessarily going uh, above and beyond. And if I make one thing really nice, then uh, my kind of anal retentiveness will force me to make all of my furniture look nice. And I feel like I'm already being a bit too ambitious with a lot of my uh, constructions and, and buildings. Like this one, for instance, where I decided, I don't know what compelled me, but I decided that my uh, whole, <laughs> my setup, my uh, house needed an outhouse. So I decided to build an outhouse. And, uh, you know, like like anything else I make, I, I wanted it to look good. And I don't think it does. <laughs> I think it looks pretty bad, actually. But um, I'm content, at least, because I don't think any outhouse looks good. So I think, um, you know, mission accomplished, honestly. It, it does and looks exactly as it should. Um, I'm sure people are going to have mixed feelings about this whole process. And largely, you can see the time passing in-game. How much time I spend making this outhouse and perfecting it and making sure every every detail is in place and, and that it, it I can walk in properly. Like you can see, I couldn't really walk in, so I had to chisel the inside block so that the door met the block, but also I was able to walk in and sit down on, on the little, little block. And uh, th so that, that was functional. I wanted it to be functional. It needed to be perfect. You know, it had to be everything. and. You know, go above and beyond. I wanted it to function as well. So I wanted to be able to literally throw blocks into into the little trough, into the little hole. Um, no, no, this is not a simulation. It's not a simulation. I just wanted to be able to do that. I thought that would be fun. But um, karma really kicked my butt here because I couldn't get out of the outhouse and then I fell into my toilet. So that <laughs> was really really good had to dig my way out and then uh, figure out you know make this block a little bit more shallow and then I could get in properly and then and then why not let's give it a sign and yeah let's let's make it absolutely ludicrous and uh, I did actually model that mount that outhouse uh, after the Shrek um, outhouse because that's the that's the what I think of when I think of an outhouse is Shrek's little uh, outhouse with the moon door 
I don't know. It just, it just it feels classic to me, you know? So, finally figure out the greenhouse. Uh, figured out that I couldn't use sloped blocks as part of the roof. Have to use full blocks only. So once I finally uh, put the, I put in birch wood at first just to test it and I was finally seeing that plus five degrees Celsius um, because of greenhouse. So knowing that I decided to fix the roof uh, so that it was final and actually looked good. Um, fortunately, Vintage Story is very kind about um, you pulling glass blocks up or picking them up. It still sounds scary when you do it, like it still sounds like you're breaking them, but you get the blocks back, so that's really nice. Didn't have to make a whole bunch of more glass just because I placed them badly. Decided uh, also to make more use of signs to try and remind myself of things that I needed. But the sign ended up being redundant because I eventually just chopped down the oak tree in front of my house in order to uh, sate that requirement. So that sign goes bye-bye. But I, I, ought to, I ought to set up more signs, uh, including signs on top of the uh, chests to let you know tell me what, what the theme of the interior materials are. Yeah, here's the, here's the oak tree gone. Uh, which I felt a little bit bad about. I, I kind of like the trees I've got around um, my house as a as a decoration, as a flourish. Um, and here's me checking out the windmill. How does it look? How does it attach? There, are there any flaws and problems? And yes, there are. You can m maybe see a couple that are of details that are missing and not really consistent with the rest of the design. So I will get back up there and I will fix it and... Here, so here I, I haven't quite figured out. They, these plants have gotten the plus five degrees Celsius from greenhouse. You can see that up in the middle uh, info tab. But um, I, they were still dying. Um, so, and they're also still saying growth stunted due to cold. So it may be that it's just very, very cold and that plus five degrees doesn't, isn't gonna cut it, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe let me know if uh, greenhouses are not actually super effective or maybe I just haven't figured it out yet either way i uh, hope you enjoyed this if you did definitely hit that like button consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy